Hi, I'm Katherine Preston, ACINA's Director of Environmental Affairs. While Washington, D.C. has been suffering through triple-digit heat recently, I'm going to talk about something a little bit cooler today, de-icing. This past April, the Environmental Protection Agency finalized a rule regulating discharges of pavement de-icing fluid. They were unable, however, to determine a national regulation on aircraft de-icing fluid and instead announced the development of an industry-led voluntary pollution reduction program to reduce the discharges of aircraft de-icing fluid to the environment. This voluntary program was developed by ACINA in partnership with the Airlines for America, Regional Airline Association, and the American Association for Airport Executives. ACINA is excited to be part of this coalition representing both airlines and airports and will help build on the aviation industry's already impressive record of environmental stewardship. What was first proposed by the agency in 2009 and what ACINA opposed was a set of inefficient, one-size-fits-all guidelines regulating the discharge of aircraft de-icing fluid. The benefit of our voluntary program is that it allows airports and airlines to work together to develop flexible solutions to fit their unique circumstances. While EPA has worked to develop de-icing fluid discharge standards for more than a decade, the agency encountered a number of problems trying to write a national rule. These problems prompted ACINA and our partners to develop the Voluntary Pollution Reduction Program as a better solution. The program will reduce the amount of discharges to the environment of aircraft de-icing fluid by encouraging the adoption of pollution reduction technologies both on the collection, treatment, and application side. This program represents the culmination of many years of hard work of both ACINA and our members and our program partners. It also provides us with a unique opportunity to work collectively with the airlines and with EPA to further reduce our environmental footprint. The voluntary program will be implemented over five years, with a final report due to EPA describing the steps taken in our progress towards reducing pollution associated with aircraft de-icing fluid. The program consists of the following components. Conducting industry-wide outreach and education to enable the information exchange on the program. Encouraging research and development on pollution reduction technologies tracking implementation of these technologies nationwide, developing a quantifiable pollution reduction goal achieved through the adoption of pollution reduction technologies, estimating the environmental benefits of using these technologies, and finally reporting these results back to EPA at the end of the five-year period. ACINA and our program partners are in the process of developing working principles and an action plan to implement the program. We will be aided by an advisory committee and several working groups comprised of our members to address the program components. These will be launched shortly. We have already begun to conduct outreach and education with our members and in industry and continuously seek input as we move forward. The first program milestone will be to develop a list of airports and airlines from which we will collect data over the next five years and we will communicate this information to EPA at the end of the year. We look forward to continuing our work with our members and our program partners as we implement the program and are pleased to be part of this initiative which further demonstrates our commitment to the environment. If you'd like more information, please check the ACINA Environmental Affairs Committee website or contact me at any time for more information.